The Steam Deck has been an incredible portable gaming machine, and if you add a keyboard and mouse, it becomes an incredible desktop machine as well. So today I'm going to show you how to add our Rocket Nano V2 into the Steam Deck. Hello everyone, my name's Mike, and here at Sabrin we love to make and talk tech. So if that's what you're into, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay updated with all our future videos. So today we're going to be adding the Rocket Nano V2 into the Steam Deck in desktop mode. So let me show you how to get that done. So first of all, you want to press and hold the power button until this menu comes up. Then you want to scroll down until it says switch to desktop and press the A button. Wait for a few seconds for it to switch into desktop mode. So now you are in desktop mode and you can use the right trackpad to control the mouse. Now what I would recommend you do to make it a little bit easier is to connect up into Bluetooth mode a keyboard as well as a mouse. So to add a keyboard or mouse quickly for those who don't know is you want to go to the Bluetooth icon just over here. You want to press the plus button right over here and then search up the keyboard or mouse that you have and then just connect to them. Then you want to grab your Rocket Nano V2 with the USB-C cable and you want to plug it into the USB-C port right at the top. Now you should see a message pop up and as you can see we've got USB disk right over here and it says mount and open. So we want to click mount and open and there you go we have our USB stick right over here with an image as you can see to make sure it's all working and if we click on that we open up it works absolutely fine with no issues. Now if you want to reformat your SSD for whatever reason you can do it in the desktop mode in the Steam Deck so let me show you how to do that as well. So to create a partition what we need to do is, is we need to go to the application launcher right in the corner and then in the search box, we want to just type in KDE and it will come up with KDE Partition Manager. We want to left click on that and we want to just type in our password. And then we will see all of the connected storage devices and the one at the bottom here is the one terabyte rocket nano v2 that we have connected and as you can see if i click on this partition over here as you can see it is set to the xfat format so to reformat this all that we need to do is click on this partition right over here we then want to click unmount we then want to right click on this partition and we want to click on delete we then want to right click on this partition again and we want to click new and a new window will appear. As you can see there are several sections over here. In the file system we can set it to pretty much any format that we want. So we can set it to XFAT like before, X, uh, XT4 which is pretty common for Linux, uh, even NTFS as well if you're a Windows user. But for now we'll just select XFAT. We can then label this partition. So I'm just going to call it Nano V2 for example. And then we're going to press OK. Now as you can see here it says pending operations so this means that we have a list of operations that we're going to do to this SSD. So we're going to delete the current partition and we're going to create a new partition as you can see. Then all that you need to do is just press a click on apply and that will apply both of these operation changes to the SSD. So once you are done using the SSD all that you need to do is click on this icon right over here and then you want to click on safely remove. Sometimes this icon can be hidden in this little section over here so if for whatever reason this icon is hidden in this section you just want to pop this up and it will come up with a few more options right over there. So all that you need to do like I said is just click on this icon, click on safely remove and now we can disconnect the SSD from the Steam Deck safely. And that is how you connect up a Rocket Nano V2 in a Steam Deck with desktop mode. Really, really simple and I've shown you a few extra things as well that you might want to be aware of when using the Rocket Nano V2 with your Steam Deck. But anyway, that's it for today's video. If you've enjoyed it, then make sure to smash that like button and also hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you can stay updated with all our future videos. 
Also, let me know on what other types of tutorials and content that you want me to do in the future, and I will definitely have a look at those. Anyway, look after yourselves, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.